This is going to be my empties for the month of February and just a little disclaimer, I didn't use up everything here just in the month of February. I've been working on some of these for a very long time, but I'm going to put all of the timestamps down in the down bar down there, but I will start off with the makeup. Uh, this first one is a little deluxe size sample of the MAC strobe cream. And that is what it looks like there. I cut this one open. This one came with some kind of online order that I made last summer, I believe. But it's just one of their little free samples that they offer. That is what the inside looks like there. I really like putting this down, kind of mixing it in with my moisturizer and stuff. I do have another backup of this, but I don't know if I would purchase this in the full size. I'm still kind of undecided on this one. So next up, I have one of the deluxe sizes of the Buxom Lash Mascara. I really like this mascara. It gets rid of any clumps that you have. If your mascara is slightly clumpy, the brush is really nice at combing it all out. You can see the wand there. It's really spiky. So um, I know a lot of people don't enjoy this mascara, but I really like it for the bottom lashes. And if I build it up enough and put enough layers on, it's really nice on the upper lashes as well. So I do, I think I have um, one more of the deluxe eye samples in my backup mascaras, so I don't need to repurchase it. But I think if I wanted to buy one similar to that, I would probably just go with like the clump crusher or something. Next up is a lip balm. This is my favorite lip balm. This is the Intense Protection Lipsil Lip Balm right there. You can find these at Walmart and Walgreens, I know for sure. It has a little bee on the side here. It's really pepperminty, kind of like the Burt's Bees chapstick, but I think that this one provides a little bit more hydration on the lips, so I can't comfortably apply this anymore to my lips, and I do have a backup of this one as well, but if I didn't, I would definitely repurchase this one. Sometimes you can find them at Walmart for buy one, get one free too, so that's a really nice deal. Then I have a knockoff beauty blender sponge here. I think I got this from TJ Maxx. I actually really enjoyed this, so sometimes you can find the knockoff sponges that are great. This one's really soft and it's a little dense, but it's really, it has a really soft texture. So I did enjoy this. I don't think that I would go back and repurchase anymore, but I did pick up a couple of them when I bought this one. So I think I have one more left. Then I have a little mini perfume sample here. This is the Cartier Baser Vol Volet. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this was really nice. It was more of like a crisp scent, but uh, I definitely wouldn't purchase it in the full size. I think that came from Birchbox. I also have the little pack here of the LA Colors nail polish remover pads. If you're doing a project polish or if you're just concerned about damaging your nails with like an acetone remover, these are really nice. For the nails, they're a little bit gentler than a pure acetone remover. So while it does take a couple of the pads to take off all uh, all ten of your nails, I really like these, and they're not. I don't feel like they're damaging to the nails, and I like the strawberry scent personally. These are really nice to keep in your purse. They're great for traveling. I have two packs of. Uh, makeup removers, I guess. This first one is from Equate, the Walmart version of the Neutrogena Night Calming Cleansing Towelettes. These ones are the Equate brand. These are the Nighttime Soothing Makeup Remover Towelettes, and they have like a lavender scent to them almost. It's a really nice scent. I like the fragrance, and I would definitely repurchase these in the future. You do get 40 wipes in here, so you get a couple more than the Neutrogena or the Pons or anything. So I'll definitely pick these up again. And then I also have a pack of the Up and Up Fresh Cucumber Baby Wipes, and I use these when I'm in a pinch. Like I ran out of the Equate wipes, so I used a couple of these to take off my makeup. These are really great for cleaning off brushes, especially blending brushes for your eyes. I also use these for taking off makeup swatches as well off the back of my hands after videos and stuff. So these are really great for a number of different uses. I have the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 8% AHA Gel. It has glycolic acid in it. It's good for all skin types and it's kind of like a liquid exfoliant. This was interesting. Sometimes I felt like I could see a difference using this. Sometimes 
um, I really couldn't see any difference. So I would say overall I could notice a change in my skin when I used this. So while I did enjoy it, I don't think I'll be repurchasing it, but I'll look for something a little bit cheaper from the drugstore probably. Here's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. I really love this stuff. This is my all-time favorite face lotion, so I'll definitely repurchase this one. I have two face masks here from Lush. I have the cupcake one. There's still a little bit left in here. This one was kind of like a chocolatey, like a chocolate brownie scent to it. Um, this one is for oily skin. I don't really have oily skin. So I don't think I'll purchase the cupcake one again, but this rosy cheeks one, this was fantastic. I really enjoyed this. It was kind of like a light pink shade and it has calamine powder and rose clay in here. This one was great. I do have enough Lush empties to trade in the little pots for a free face mask and I think I'll be getting the rosy cheeks one when I do that. So really enjoyed that. I have a pack of the White Cloud Cotton Squares. There's 160 of them in here. I only use these for say toner or taking off nail polish if I'm using like an acetone nail polish remover, but I thought these were quite affordable, so I'll probably pick up another pack in the future. I have two little mini moisturizers here. This first one is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. I think I got this in a gift with purchase bag with the the clinic bonus time. I think that's going on. I think it starts on the 22nd of March, by the way, but I really did enjoy this and I was quite surprised. I would put this on at nighttime instead of the clinic dramatically different lotion and I really liked how this left my skin in the morning. It really felt like it moisturized and hydrated my skin a little bit better than just the standard clinic lotion that I use. So I would consider picking this up during the bonus time. And then I also have this one here. This is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Repair Moisturizer. It's just a little mini, little deluxe sample here. Um, this one actually came from Miley from Juicy Fashion 11. I'll link her channel in the down bar, but I thought this was fine. Um, I would kind of go back and forth between using it on my face and just using it on my neck but I thought it had a really nice fragrance to it and I would consider looking into the price of this at some point. I have a ton of little packets here. Let me go through them super fast. I have two from Olay. This first one is the Regenerous Luminous Tone Perfecting Moisturizer Cream and I really like this one. The scent on this was great. Um, I'm gonna check out the price of this in the full size and see how it is. And then I also had this Regenerist Advanced Anti-Aging Micro Sculpting Cream. I don't think I'll pick this one up, but I really liked the Luminous one. Here's one from Melon and Goats. This is the Vitamin E Face Moisturizer. I actually use this one on my neck, so I really can't say much about it. It only lasted a couple days. I have two exfoliants here. This first one is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I really like using this when I need a deep scrub on my face. If it's feeling a little dry, a little flaky, this really brightens up my skin, buffs off any dead skin that's kind of dulling my complexion. So this is a really nice exfoliator. If there's ever a 100 point perk through Sephora or something, I usually try and pick this up. I have to use it on days when my skin looks really dull though, or else I can't really tell the difference. This other one, this is the Carez Wild Rose Exfoliating Cleanser. I didn't really like this. Um, I didn't feel like there was enough exfoliating beads in there. I, I felt like the ratio was off just a little bit. So there's two body scrubs. I have the Tree Hugger Natural Strawberry and Coconut Detox Body Scrub. This is from Perfectly Posh. Jessica sent a couple Perfectly, Pro Perfectly Posh products to me. I did a little giveaway with my channel. This was one of the items that I really enjoyed. I don't think that they sell this on the website anymore, unfortunately. It just smelled so nice. I really liked how scrubby the particles were in here. So I would consider picking this one up in the future with a Perfectly Posh order that I would make. Here is the Airs. Body Polish in Sunrise, Pompous Sunrise. I didn't like this. It didn't feel like there was enough of the exfoliating beads in this one. There was too much of 
the other substance. So I don't think I'll be purchasing this one. I think this came from Birchbox and I don't think that I'll be using my points to redeem in on this. I actually have two deodorants. This one was barely hanging on and it just barely finished off. This is the Secret Clear Gel. It's from their Scent Expressions line in Cocoa Butter Kiss. This had a really nice cocoa butter fragrance to it. I'm actually testing out a natural deodorant and it's working really well, so I don't think that I'll be repurchasing this one in the future. When I ran out of the Secret one, I went over to this one. This one was my husband's, but he stopped using it. This is the Jack Black Pit Boss Antiperspirant and Deodorant. Um. I don't know. I don't think that I would go for this one in the future. Like I said, I really like that natural deodorant that I'm using right now. I think I might even do a review on it in the future too. This one actually came from Birchbox and I was pleasantly surprised with this line. I do have the shampoo still in my shower. It's almost done, but this is the Grapefruit Detox Shine Repair Conditioner. It's supposed to reverse the dulling effect of product buildup and hard water. This was actually really nice. Um, it's kind of like a cleansing shampoo and conditioner line. I would consider looking into the price of this on the Birchbox website, but I'm gonna go through the shampoo first before I decide that. Speaking of clarifying shampoos, I have this other one here. This is from Suave. This is the Daily Clarifying Hypoallergenic Shampoo. This was nice to use maybe once every two weeks, I would say. I don't like to use too many clarifying shampoos because they kind of strip the color out of my hair, but this one was fine. Like I said, maybe once or twice a month. I have two hair dyes here. This first one, this is what I use all the time. This is the Revlon Color Silk. This one's in number 11, which is soft black. It's under $3 at Walmart. Usually it's either $3 or $2.98 or something, wherever you shop, but it's about the cheapest hair dye. And if I'm just doing a root touch up, it really doesn't matter. This one is the Garnier Color Sensation Rich Long Lasting Color Cream. This one's in 1.1 Natural Blue Black. I've never seen them, this one at the store before. I used this one on my husband. I'm really impressed with this. I can't remember if it was $4 or five, but it's actually pretty cheap and it does come with one of these little brushes. I have a couple of these from Sally's hanging out in my hair stuff. I use one of these every time that I do my hair, so it's nice to have, you know, a backup of one of these now too, but considering you get the hair dye and the little brush, it's staying in his hair pretty nice and it isn't washing out as fast as some of the other dyes I've used in the past, so I think I might even try out this brand uh, next time that I buy hair dye, so there's that. I have some lotions here. This first one is the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream. It's the fragrance-free version. I know Kristen Game, I think this is the one that she talks about all the time. I got this one out of Influencer. You don't have to have a YouTube channel to sign up for Influencer. They send out free products if you have a Twitter, Instagram, YouTube account, Facebook, anything, you can link up your accounts and answer some surveys and they'll send you out free products. This was one of those free products. And I don't know, I didn't feel like this was any better than say Gold Bond. So uh, I don't think I'll be purchasing this one in the future, but I did let my mom try it and she ended up buying some. So I don't know, I guess it just works differently on different people. Here's an item that I've been loving for quite a while. This is the Johnson's Baby Bedtime Lotion. I used this on myself, but this is the item that I used on my daughter when she was little and I just love the scent of this product. So <laughs> I would use this at nighttime to kind of calm down a little bit and get ready for bed. So I'll definitely pick this up eventually. I also have this little mini one from Bath and Body Works. This is a strawberry sparkler, little deluxe size, travel size lotion. The scent was kind of strong on this one. I don't think that you could purchase this now. I think they've discontinued the scent, so can't really say much else about it. I have a little mini one that I got from, I think a Walmart beauty box. This is the Aveeno Skin Relief Gentle Scent Lotion. It's supposed to moisturize for 24 hours. I don't really think that was true. It did have kind of a light sweet scent and it almost felt a little sticky on the skin. So I, I don't think I'll pick up this in the larger size. This is the Gold Bond Ultimate Men's Essentials Everyday Moisturizer right here. It doesn't have the top on it because I had to take it off to kind of 
hit it on my hand, but this is really nice. Um, usually I just buy the original Gold Bond Healing with Aloe, but this has a nice kind of unisex scent to it. It's supposed to be targeted for men, but it works almost as well as the original Gold Bond that I like. So I think I have one more of these under my sink. I have two foaming hand soaps from Bath & Body Works. This one is the Vanilla Bean Noel. Gentle foaming hand soap. Absolutely love this stuff. I pick up this fragrance every holiday, uh, lotions, body wash, hand wash, everything. I really like the scent. And then this other one, oh, this one was bad. This is the Kiwi Pear. This was horrific. I did not like the scent on this. So really happy this one's gone. This one's been hanging out for almost a year, I would say. That's how bad it is. So Glad that this one's done. These are my all-time favorite wax cubes in the universe. They kind of remind me of the coconut lime verbena scent that Bath & Body Works used to have. This is the lemongrass ginger tea from Bed Bath & Beyond. These are amazing. I love these things. I usually get the Bed Bath & Beyond coupons and I'll stock up on four or five of these and then use a coupon on it because I think they're $2.99 originally and that's a little pricey for these packs of cubes for me in my opinion. And the final item is this Bath & Body Works Spice Apple Toddy Candle. I was kind of let down with the fragrance that this let off while it burned. Um, I remember this smelling a little bit different in stores but I'll probably end up just cleaning this out and we're using the glass container. So anyway, those are all of my empties for the month of February. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.